For pelvic positioning laterally, we are using what we call our hip guides. The hip guides, again, have white buttons on them. This white button here, I adjust the lateral width of the hip guide. And you'll also see the outline of our armrest engraved into the mold. That should help you get the hip guide onto the right armrest so I don't get rights and lefts mixed up or front to back mixed up. So the hip guide will actually live on the armrest. The reason we did this is to aid with lateral transfers. So if you remove the armrest for a transfer, the hip guide will go with it. You can adjust the, the height of the armrest right through the hip guide. Okay, so I still have the ability to adjust the height of the armrest, but there's a tab on the inside of this. Any pressure toward the inside face of the hip guide will lock it vertically on that armrest. Some therapists have asked for more support further forward on the child. Um, for some children, if they have a, a abdominal tube, it may be inappropriate to have a lap belt crossing directly over the abdomen. And so we have a lap belt. And for that, I will remove the armrests. The lap belt is the one belt that installs a bit differently than the other seat belts and butterfly harnesses and so on. The reason for that is because we have a full five inches of seat depth adjustment, we needed the lap belt to be able to move with the seat. So I'm going to demonstrate this. I have to remove the cushion and very similar to many car seat belts, there's an H shaped slot in here that I can tuck my strap into. And this is, if you order the lap belt, we'll install it for you in our assembly. But if you want to install it in the field, it's very easily done. It'll be in the quick reference guide how to do that. Okay, so that tucks in to the seat. Then the cushion comes back down over it. And now we have a belt that stays the same distance away from the front edge of the seat, no matter what depth of seat adjustment we need. The last item I'd like to cover with the pelvic positioning is what we call our backrest filler. When the backrest is raised all the way up, and this filler will only really be needed in the top three positions of the backrest, you can apply this backrest filler. It has a very simple snap stud, which snaps directly to the bottom edge center of the backrest. So the backrest filler pad works in the top three positions where you have an unsightly hole when the backrest is raised all the way up to cover that up. To remove it, very simple tab on the back side, and I can unsnap the backrest filler to take it off. 